guys and good evening and thank you for joining us for the Tuesday's edition of the Regional News. In this developing story, we tell you that Brazilian police and environmental protection agents were ambushed by illegal gold miners on the Yanomami Indigenous Reservation in the Amazon on Monday. And four miners were shot dead in the exchange of gunfire, a government statement said. The Environment Ministry said their team was attacked when they moved in to dismantle a wildcat mining camp run by an organized crime gang. Brazilian authorities are keen to show that they mean business in their efforts to remove the remainder of the wildcat miners on the reservation following the fatal shooting of a Yanomami man. President Lula da Silva has pledged zero tolerance for mining on indigenous land protected by the Constitution and the Environmental Protection Agency is planning eviction operations on five other reservations where illegal logging and mining increased under previous president Jair Bolsonaro. Now for news from Trinidad and Tobago. A San Juan man who managed to survive two separate shootings in the last week was killed on the third attempt by murderers. Mark Juman, also called Marky of Santa Cruz Old Road, was shot around 8.50 p.m. on Saturday at Ramkisun Trace. Previous attempts were made to kill the 33-year-old on April 23rd and 26th, following alleged claims that he was responsible for burning down a house in the neighborhood that belonged to a man known as Janks. It was alleged that Janks and a second man known as Thirsty also shot at Juman on a second occasion. Neither shooting was reported to the police, but following Juman's murder on Sunday, residents admitted to the previous incidents. Forensic evidence collected at the scene of the murder included five spent 9mm shell casings and three deformed projectiles. Finally, in Jamaica. Jamaica's government on Monday expressed concern regarding the unauthorized disclosure of information regarding the selection process for the principal of the Mona campus of the University of the West Indies. The incumbent Professor Dale Weber has already indicated that he would not be renewing his contract when his tenure ends on July 31st this year. In a statement, the Ministry of Education and Youth said that while the government values transparency and integrity in all its operations, leaked reports undermine the professionalism of the selection process and introduce unnecessary speculation which could compromise the process. It has requested that the University of the West Indies does a thorough investigation into the matter and that it is, and I quote, hopeful that those who continue to attempt to compromise the process recognize the damage they are doing to the university and will refrain from this type of action, unquote. Reports have identified UE Pro Vice Chancellor Denzel Williams, who was the principal of the Five Islands campus in Antigua and Barbuda, as the front runner to replace Weber. It was reported that the University Council, UE's highest governing body, had been expected to approve Williams at its annual meeting last week Wednesday. However, following a lengthy discussion, a final decision was put on hold after Jamaica's Education Minister, Favel Williams, reportedly requested additional time to consult on the matter. I'm Renata Burnett and thank you for watching.